Hey guys, today we're going to continue with the dashboarding series. We're going to cover in a deep dive other components that didn't fit into those other categories. Some interesting ones that are kind of unusual but fun to play with as well. Uh, firstly, I want to say I love Evernote, so this t-shirt's Evernote. Evernote! Evernote's the bomb. I use it for everything. I kind of outsource all of my information to my Evernote. Uh, if I have ideas or projects or anything that I'm working on, I'm always using Evernote to store all that information. Uh, I think it's just a great tool. It's really easy to use. If I have a bunch of long-term project ideas or things I'm working on, I just throw them right in Evernote and I don't worry about them. It kind of gets it off my mind. Second thing I was thinking of is, you know, with these kind of pink shirt days, I mean, this bullying stuff, I really just think people who are, who are overzealous about this pink shirt thing, you know what, like you have weak kids wearing pink shirts and you're telling them that this is somehow gonna solve bullying. Like, let's all just get together and love each other and bullying is gonna go away. Well, I think that's just, it's not true and it's, uh, it's not really useful either. Um, I think, you know, the only thing it does is, you know, encourages kids to speak out if they really do need help, which I think is, is important. But I think more than that, if they, if they speak out and, and you can help them to stand up for themselves, I think, uh, you know, I was bullied a lot, quite a, frankly, I'm not a small guy, but I, I was bullied when I was younger a lot and um, it sucked, but I, I don't think I told my parents much at all unless I was kind of injured, frankly. And um, I, I think one, if I would have stood up to it at all, I think it would have it would have stopped. I, I don't know why. I was just too accommodating. I was too nice. Um, if I know what I know now, you know, I mean, I could have taken it a little bit further, and the bullies would have just, I'm sure, just backed down. I, I if if you make yourself a hard harder target. I think it's a better way to go than, you know, you can be nice and be civil, but if things come down to it, you got to kind of tell a bully where it's at and have the confidence to stand up for yourself. You know, the, the solution is not to run to the teacher because as soon as you run to the teacher, you don't solve it yourself. If you're still a weak target. People are going to just wait for you to turn your back. And I think that uh, violence is not the answer. Uh, but it's sometimes an answer um, <clears throat> and I think if you know you need to be able to stand up good needs to be able to stand up for good and good needs to be more powerful than evil and even if you want to say love 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 I'd still rather be the one that chooses to make violence the answer uh, than to have violence happen to me um, I think the most peaceful people that I know are the people that know how to defend themselves and if you see my other videos I've talked about doing jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, MMA um, The people that do that are not uh, Violent animals uh, They are the nicest in general nicest egoless Calmest people that you're gonna meet and I think it's just because it doesn't they know that you can attack You know you can try to attack them and maybe they'll lose, but uh, they're not afraid to get into those situations and they know where to draw the line. They're comfortable with it. Most people, if you grab them, they just don't know, even know how to handle it. So jujitsu removes that fear. I mean, you can say I've been in grappling matches hundreds and thousands of times potentially. So whatever you're going to try to do to me, I've seen better people do it. And um, frankly, you're going to go down. And especially with jujitsu, you can control it uh, without a lot of impact and, um, you know, on your own terms. So, you know, like this is reality and I'd rather be able to defend myself than run to a teacher or wear a pink shirt. So it's good to talk about it, but at the same time, make yourself a harder target. And I think uh, that's a good way to go. Be peaceful, give people a chance, stay calm. Um, and chances are the bully won't even attack, the bully wouldn't attack somebody with that much confidence. So you can sidestep the entire thing just by knowing what you're talking about. So that's my uh, rant of the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the screencast stuff again and we're going to check out the last of the components that are kind of the ones that are left and um, that'll be the contents of this video. Thank you so much for guys for watching all my videos. You're so awesome. I've had so many great comments. Please like, subscribe, share, check out support me, 
www.battleshipcobra.com. I'm always uh, just so happy to hear people, or so happy to hear from people. I'm so happy to see when people send me some uh, Starbucks money or some uh, beer money or whatever. I don't really drink, but whatever. It's really, really helpful and it really makes me want to keep doing these videos. It's, it's an awesome community. I see other people helping other people in the comments and um, I'm just so thankful for you guys. So let's jump into this right now. So we're back in Crystal Dashboard Design and I want to show you some of the odds and ends uh, which I thought were really interesting. So you can see here labels. I didn't really cover text labels but this is how you can use um, KPIs. You can just use a text field and you can link it to another field and format it how you want and that is going to let you do KPI stuff. So this, I just made this randomize button. But um, yeah, so this is a great one and I didn't really show this but you can do an actual text field and I'll show you how that calculation works on the side there. This one is called a scorecard. So you can see that you have quarter two performance. You could set these various uh, targets and icons and colored alerts to whatever you want. So you can see here that you can just overview of performance and you can use this as an insertion too to change the visibility of other things, to send uh, road data to other charts, to analyze it further. So this is really cool to summarize and then also to expand that to doing other things with uh, other elements of the system. So this is a, called the scorecard, which I think is really neat. And it's all dynamic and everything too. So I, I didn't, I just did some really generic data in there. This text box, I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess, um, I mean, you could have contents of specific documents or you could have a long description of some specific thing or maybe you're looking at a, uh, you know, I, I guess if you're looking at kind of a CRM dashboard and you wanted like a list of what was uh, being said in a particular activity or note on a system, you can use that. So that's nice. It has, you know, you can do... Uh, So it has the scroll bars and everything, so that's really cool. It's dynamic. You can write notes in there and save things. You could just save notes in there if you wanted to and save it in the scenario with the Save Scenario button. Spreadsheet view. So this just shows you exactly what's in your spreadsheet. It can also be used for insertions too. So again, you can select these things. This is literally just a, a range of data and you're showing it. It even has the formatting from the spreadsheet. So if you're a spreadsheetaholic and you like the particular way you're showing it, um, you can view those there as well. And again, it uses regular insertion. Label-based menus, this is really cool. I, uh, I turned the alerts on here. So this is very, very interesting because you can say each one of these maybe is a region. So this could be BC, Alberta, etc. And you could say, you know, based on your rules, is that particular region meeting or exceeding your expectations or are they not meeting your expectations and you can set that up and then use it to drill down, use that visibility to drill down into the data below it. So this is really, really interesting one. So you could use this for departments, you could use this for regions, you could use this for sales employees, you could use this for all sorts of things. So this is a, a uh, label based menu. Yeah. And then this you would use uh, containers and you would do that visibility thing I talked about in the previous video. Everybody needs date ranges, so this this is pretty cool here. So you can use this to use uh, for date ranges. So this is obviously something I, I just wanted to show that it is available in here. So you could do from dates, to dates, etc. If this outputs there now, and um, so you do from date and to date ranges of images. So this is just a little image. This is Jocko Willink. I talked about this. Look up Jocko Willink and his good philosophy. I think the guy's amazing, and just the good philosophy alone is is reason to check him out. Amazing. Check him out on. Uh, Joe Rogan experience, check him out on Tim Ferriss podcast, etc. And uh, w totally worth it, amazing guy, former Navy SEAL commander. This is a, a generic background. I show this here because you don't always want to make your own images. So again, the, this image, the images and the backgrounds can be underlaid. So you can have like uh, underlaid things below what you're working on in order to have a nicer formatted. I've done very kind of generic white formatting here, but you can get really kind of fancy schmancy if you want. And this is an out of the box one. You could change the gradient color. You can work with the different theme colors and uh, you can size this however you want. So you could use your own image behind if you want to get really custom, or in this case, just use their out of the box ones that match the themes. Another one that I don't really know where it fits here is uh, this ticker. So I believe this ticker has insertion too. So you could, you know, here I have the sales 
so that's the percentage, but here's the dollar value. So Ontario, $43, Prince PEI, Quebec, Saskatchewan, Yukon Territory, total. So yeah, oh yeah, this is by dollar, but it's actually just the percentage. So I should have put that as a percentage, but that's okay. But you see what I'm saying? So you could have like a ticker with the sales employees across the top. I mean, it's kind of cool if you're uh, into tickers and stuff. I mean, you could you could potentially do like the last five sales orders or invoices you could have top 20 customers you could do uh, best performing product of the day or you could have I don't know whatever you, you could use that for whatever you want it kinda just goes along there uh, really neat really interesting doesn't really fall into any of the other kinda categories so if you look here in the KPI you can see this oh my face is covering it Okay, so I just turned my uh, camera off there for a second. So you can see in the general link to with the KPI. So you just link this to a cell and then whatever that cell changes to, then that's going to be what it shows there. So 29 and 394. So that is uh, something that's really cool. And again, that's a KPI label or you can just do it as a regular label that's in here under text. Scorecards, you do those. Um, the only other thing I wanted to talk about here was the um, ticker. And I just wanted to make sure that it had data insertion here. So of course, data insertion, so you can do position, label, value, row. Do the row, if this is based on row-based information, then you can insert the row-based information. So this can also be used as a drill down or kind of a pop-up method of, uh, there I am again, and you could do this as a drill down or pop-up method for uh, analyzing data. So again, if you had like, you know, uh, sales order of the day, sales orders of the day, and you could have like no data, and then as stuff started to pile up, you could have, you know, who did, who sold it to who, you could have a couple of different uh, series in there and then do a data insertion. You can click on it and you, and in business one, you can actually open it into the document in business one or in uh, crystal dashboard design. You could open up a quick little menu and say what was actually sold and maybe a couple of other details. So you could you could always be kind of on top of that data. So you can kind of have that ticker. I like the feel of it. I think it's really kind of a, a cool thing. So that's it. That's it for the deep dives. We're done all of our components. I've covered Crystal Dashboard Design's uh, various components and overview. Tried to give you some business context ideas and um, give you something to just kind of get creative with. I. I can, I, I guess I can admit I didn't go into a lot of the things technically. I think once you start to work with the program, you'll really understand uh, the individual components. So it's not as important to get super boring with every technical detail. I think that's kind of a mistake. Um, you're smart people and just look at the help file and it'll tell you. And there's also those little help buttons that'll show you with the little uh, animations. So um, that's it for that. You can go back, if you're just new to this uh, series, go back and check my other dashboarding videos. I did a lot of work on uh, the Decision Speed Framework, the Performance Manager book, and how and why and what to choose, go meds, goals, metrics, and dimensions, and kind of what to choose. So this was more to give you some ideas on how to be creative and uh, what I've kind of done with them in the past. So thank you so much for watching this series. If you want to help me out, go to supportme.battleshipcobra.com. There's a couple of free options over there, and uh, I'd really appreciate any sort of feedback. Just uh, tell me how you got here in the comments below. Say thanks for the video. That's like, it's, it, it means more than you can really understand. You know, if you have somebody on YouTube and, and you like them, just like the video or leave a comment. Just say, hey, thanks for taking the time to post that. It, it means so much. It, it really is something that stands out when you wake up and you, know, you go to look at your email or you, or you just see it in the afternoon like, hey, thanks a lot for doing um, these videos. We really appreciate them. That's enough. But you know, if you want to do something, support me at battleshootcobra.com. So the next video is going to be a summary of the whole dashboarding scenario. We're going to talk about what we did and um, you know, just go through some, some information and talk about uh, tutorials and other resources and things like that. So thank you so much. You guys rock. Bye for now.